All right, guys. I took my two black goldfish, the Shabunkins, added a 40-gallon tank. I had this 10-gallon set up. So I figured, what the heck, might as well put them in here. They're hard to see, but they're jet black. You can see them right there. But when they go up against a dark background, good luck. I did put one that's white in here. Not white, but white, black. He's on the top right now. Let me see if I can see him right there. Just so there was three in the tank. So, I don't know. I think they eat better when there's a couple. There he goes right there. See him? Jet black. Don't know if we'll stay that black, but holy crap, he's nice. Shabunkin goldfish jet black. I'll try to keep this on him so you can see him. It should be focusing because I got it on the rocks. It's hard to see it in the back screen on the camera. It's actually blending in with the gravel so good. Yeah, I could get closer. I mean, this light's not good. It's not one of my good lights. It actually, in person, they kind of look like, you see the, uh, I guess their slime coat kind of makes them look like grayish, like funny looking. It's a crappy light. It's one of them ones that comes with the kit, like a cheapy. I didn't have any other lights to put on it, but there's two of them in here. And I figure I take them out. Feed them a little more, maybe it'll grow a little better. Because they're not in with the other fish, it's easier to get food. You see when he goes up to the top, he kind of looks grayish, like funny looking. That's because the light's like bluish looking. It's got a lot of blue and white LEDs in it, so it makes his slime coat kind of look like blue actually. Like whitish blue, so it fades the fish out. There's that other one I put in there. That one's more or less. I can't even see it. All white, maybe a little orange on it and some black on the head. But I put these purple and black rocks that I had laying around in here. Probably would look good with some glowfish. <laughs> with a black light maybe on it. Where are they? Better in the top. I can't look at them or else you'll get like overexposed from the uh, light bulb shining in the lens. But, uh, man, when they're in the dark like that, can't even see them. What about that one? It's in that fake plant somewhere. There he goes. If you'd go in the front of it, you'd see him. No, no such luck. Yeah, they look like they got a little bit bigger already. The one, anyway. Yeah, I have one little hang on the back filters on here. I don't even know how many gallons now. It's probably way too big for this 10 gallon. But I do have that sponge thing that I made on the intake so it don't suck nothing up. It's probably meant for a I'm going to say a 30 gallon maybe. Here they are in the front. As soon as they go in the dark. Goodbye. <laughs> I should put a white background so you could see them. Yeah, I got a nice scratch on this tank. I don't know where that came from. But it's only a 10 so I really don't care. Come on guys. Come out. We want to see you get in the action. Ah, they're not coming out. There's one. Where the heck did he go? Back there. When they're in the black part, it's like they blend right in. The only time you'll see them is if they go in front of the plant or in the gravel. Like I said, they're pretty dark. I'm thinking they're jet black because if you look at the 
color black that they are. It's just about as black as any of the markings on the other fish, the black markings. So I'm pretty hopeful it'll be solid black. I mean, I remember when the uh, brown color ones and the green ones were in there with them. There was a night and day difference. These guys were like jet black next to them. Of course, you guys ain't seen them unless they come out in the front. And I'm still feeding them Omega 1 crushed up like dust and Northman crushed up like dust. And they're growing so slow, I don't know why. I did have a couple more deformities in the 125 with the bent tails. Like the, the spine right before the tail was bent, so I had to put them down. Nothing major, I looked over them all, and out of all the fish I got, I only seen four like it, so that's good. The fry, anyway. Yeah, they're not coming out. Maybe if I put my hand in front of them. Yeah, right, they just got scared. <laughs> Maybe if I move away from the tank. Yeah, they're starting to come out. If they go on the gravel, I'll keep getting them because you can see them a little better. There's one. They're pretty black. They just ain't staying down. They keep going in the back and look at it. You can't even see them when they're up against there. But they're doing good separate like this I could see in the few days I had them in here well actually like probably five <laughs> since the last video it looks like they grew already and the tanks literally come out yeah it's too hard to see got all my lights off on the other tanks maybe I could bump something up so you can see whether it'll work or not, I don't know. Probably not. Oh, no way, it's dark. <laughs> All the lights are out for the night. The 40 gallon. The big guys, you can still see them because there's a light on the back. Oh, man. Right before bedtime, it's actually going to shut off that backlight in like 10 minutes. So they're ready to go to sleep for the night. Yeah, I just wanted to share the video with you guys to see if you can see what those little black ones look like. They're doing good in the new setup, separated. These guys lights out too. Alright guys, hope it comes out good this video and you could see them. If not, oh well I tried. Later. <laughs>